Hi everyone, it's Robin Clayton and I want to welcome you back to my channel, So Do You See at the Farm, where I create these gorgeous garden glass flowers and more. So yeah, I was gone for the month of August. I had a lot going on uh, in my life, uh, but I am back at it again here in September to present to you uh, this gorgeous three-piece ensemble garden glass flower. So I hope that you will stay with me because I'm going to give you my tips from A to Z on how to make these gorgeous garden glass flowers for your home or for your garden. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the items that you're gonna to need to complete this project. Stay with me. Let's go over a quick list of items that you're gonna to need to complete this project. I'm just gonna go through this briefly, simply because all of my information is listed in the description box below of this video. So the first thing that you're gonna need is all of your uh, dishes and plates as you want them uh, to appear upon completion. So this is the flower that we're gonna be making. Making. You're going to need uh, some Goo Gone and some Windex to clean all of your uh, uh, flower petals and orbs and, and uh, glass supporting plates. You are going to need some type of support if you're cutting with a Ryobi drill. I use this piece of wood along with this piece of cut cardboard. You're going to need a uh, Phillips head screwdriver measuring tape to measure your dishes. You're, if you're going to be mounting this outside, I use a chair cover. I'm also going to be assembling this with a three and uh, a quarter inch. It's um, actually three sixteenths uh, by three inches. Uh, this is the toggle bolt, the toggle on the bolt that I will be using. I've got my famous flower hook that I use and I've got a few washers that I will be using. You're gonna to need to have some water while drilling, uh, whether it be a drill press or your uh, standard drill. Uh, I also have a towel that I wash everything off with. You're gonna to need to have some type of safety gloves and protective eyewear. I'm just blessed to wear glasses, I guess, uh, but please uh, protect yourself when always working with the glass. Okay, so now that we have finished the items that you're gonna to need to complete this project, uh, we're gonna move on to the cutting stage. And then after the cutting stage, we will move on to assembly. Okay, stay with me, see ya. Hi folks, okay, we are going to be starting the cutting stage of this particular uh, video, and I'm going to be switching out uh, this bit for the smaller bit, and we're going to be cutting this a ceramic orb. I'm gonna open this hole up right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I set up everything. So I hope that you will stay with me. All right, so here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is get all my stuff out of the way, keep my water where I need it because I'm going to use that. This is a little cardboard um, stand that uh, I use several different kinds just to keep it from slipping out of my hands and if it does then it stays inside uh, this cardboard circle. So let me go ahead and switch my bit out. stick the, the other larger size bit in, tighten this up, make sure that you're wearing glove and protective safety wear, eyewear when working with glass at all times. And so we are good to go there. Let me just see, check this real quick. That looks very good, just like that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water here. And here we go. All right, there we go. All right, let's move on to our next piece that we will be cutting for this project. Okay, stay, stay with me. 
Alrighty, so here is the plate that we are going to be, this piece of glass that we're gonna be cutting uh, for our flower. And uh, if you can see, I've already marked my center right there. And I am going to take a stabilizer and I'm going to sit this right on the stabilizer just like that. And then I've got my Ryobi drill with my diamond tipped drill bit. And I also have uh, some water that I'm going to be putting right here on the top. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that open because I will continue to use water because the water does help break up the sediment. So I'm gonna make sure that my drill is obviously tightened as tight as it can be with a diamond tipped drill bit on it. You can get that from your local hardware store or from Amazon or Walmart or wherever you choose. When I start to cut, not using a drill press, but using a Ryobi drill, I'm gonna start with it on its side and then I'm going to grab right into it. Once that uh, diamond tipped drill bit grabs that glass, then I will slowly bring it forward uh, straight up just like that. And then I will pierce the glass, okay? So we're gonna take it slow, nice and easy, and here we go. quickly wipe all of this down okay so there you go there is the hole right there all right okay folks so now that we have uh, finished the cutting portion of this particular video uh, we will now uh, go over the items that you're going to need to complete this project okay stay with me Okay, folks. All right, let's go over a quick list of items that you're going to need to complete this project. I'm just going to go through this briefly, simply because all of my information is listed in the description box below of this video. So the first thing that you're going to need is all of your uh, dishes and plates as you want them uh, to appear upon completion. So this is the flower that we're going to be making. You're going to need uh, some Goo Gone and some Windex to clean all of your uh, uh, flower petals and orbs and, and uh, glass supporting plates. You are going to need some type of support if you're cutting with a Ryobi drill. I use this piece of wood along with this piece of cut cardboard. You're gonna need a uh, Phillips head screwdriver measuring tape to measure your dishes. If you're going to be mounting this outside, I use a chair cover. I'm also going to be assembling this with a three and uh, a quarter inch. It's um, actually three sixteenths uh, by three inches. Uh, this is the toggle bolt, the toggle on the bolt that I will be using. I've got my famous flower hook that I use and I've got a few washers that I will be using. You're going to need to have some water while drilling, uh, whether it be a drill press or your uh, standard drill. Uh, I also have a towel that I wash everything off with. You're going to need to have some type of safety gloves and protective eyewear. I'm just blessed to wear glasses, I guess. Uh, but please uh, protect yourself when always working with the glass. Okay, so now that we have finished the items that you're gonna need to complete this project, uh, we're gonna move on to assembly. Okay, stay with me. See ya. All right, everybody, we are here at the assembly stage and uh, I've got all of my pieces uh, that are cut and uh, ready to go. So the first thing that I always do when beginning uh, my process 
is to grab my, my washers. I've got one washer here and I'm going to take my flower hook and I'm gonna stick that washer right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this piece over and I'm going to take my toggle bolt, stick that through the flower just like that and uh, the, the washer and I'm gonna press it straight through the back of this flower just like that or flower petal rather. And then I'm going to hold it carefully and place another washer right there just like that, okay? Then I'm going to take my next my next piece, which is my next flower petal. Let's see, this piece has already been cut. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right there just like that. And then I have my orb that I'm going to be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. And I'm going to take my toggle bolt and proceed to tighten. Turn it so you can see it. Proceed to tighten this down. I hope everybody out there is having a great day today. It's a little uh, rainy here in Southwest Florida today. So perfect time to get back to my hobby that I love so much. All right, so I haven't I haven't taken that all the way down because I want to get this orb in. So I'm going to take my orb and I'm going to go ahead and push that through. And let me just take this a little bit further back up so I can get to it. Pinch this a little bit and stick that orb straight into that toggle. Now that I've inserted the orb, I'm gonna pull it back, and I know it's taken the orb because of the fact that when I do in fact pull it back, it doesn't come out. All right, so carefully turn this over on its side just like that. And I'm gonna take my uh, cordless screwdriver and make sure that it is in the forward position. And proceed to tighten on that screw. Now I'm gonna hold the orb as well. You see how that's pulled? I'm letting it come out of my hand just so that I don't break the glass. And then I'm going to follow back up right here just to make sure that that is tightened. Okay, let me turn it All right, I hope that you have enjoyed this portion of it. Let's go ahead and mount this on a stand and also an exterior stand. Stay with me. All right, folks, so here is uh, the finished product of this beautiful pink and uh, orange. There's hues of pinks and whites and oranges and golds and yellows uh, in this piece. I think it absolutely looks lovely. Let me give you a side view of it so you can see how that sits. I just think that looks amazing. Let me turn it to the back so you can see the flower. Yeah, 
said, I think that looks absolutely amazing. I love it. All right, let me show you what this looks like on a stand. Hold on one second. Okay, here is the standard stand that I'm going to be using uh, for this particular piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my flower. Go ahead and just sit it right there on the stand. Okay, just like that. Doesn't that look amazing? It looks so beautiful. All right, I'm going to turn it to the rear so you can see it from there. Yeah. So beautiful, inside or outside. Okay, so this would be mounted from an interior standpoint. And now let me take this off and show you what it would look like on a stand. Hold on one sec. I'm gonna use my pink stand today just because we're all things pink here today. And this has a hole on the top. And I'm just going to take my flower push that straight down just like that and there you go make sure it's all the way snug so that you don't have any sway in it so yeah there we go there it is this beautiful pink delicious garden glass flower Thing just came out. Absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so I, I ho hope you have enjoyed this particular video today. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at my website at www.zodiceatthefarm.com. And uh, if you have any questions, you can also list them in the uh, comment section below. And please don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button so that these particular videos get out to others who are interested in making their own board just a garden glass flowers. All right. I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed week. And I hope to see you next time here at Zodi C at the farm. Many blessings sent your way. Take care. Bye-bye. There you go. I hope you enjoy it. See you later. Bye-bye.